guys and welcome again to my channel. I thank each and every one of you who have subscribed to my channel. Thank you so very much. I thank you for all the likes and share on my video, all the comments and feedbacks I've been getting. Thank you so very much. Um, on the right hand corner of my channel, there's a notification bell there guys. You could go ahead and click on that bell and um, whenever I uploaded a new video, you will get a notification so you will not miss any of my video guys, okay? Um, what I want to do for you today, guys, I want to show you how to make a delicious chicken noodle, um, a delicious chicken soup, guys. And I am going to make it the West Indian way with the ground provision and, um, and split peas. So it's going to be a split peas um, chicken soup, guys, okay? So in my dish here, guys, I have nine drumsticks that I went ahead and marinate earlier today with my green seasoning. And... I do have a video up with my green seasoning and what it's um what's in my green seasoning guys it's basil scallion onions garlic celery parsley um chili pepper um a little piece of ginger and some fine leaf thyme and some broad leaf thyme some of us know it as spanish thyme so I put everything in a blender guys and I blend it up and I take three tablespoon of that and I went ahead and seasoned my chicken. Also, I added one chicken bouillon into my chicken here and I seasoned it and I let it marinate for about three to four hours in my refrigerator, guys. So what I'm going to do first, I am going to go ahead and saute my chicken because I am not going to leave the bone into my soup, guys. What I'm going to do, I am going to saute my chicken until it's fully cooked and then I'll strip it off of the bone. And that's how I'm going to make my um, chicken soup, guys, okay? And it's a split pea soup. So in my dish over here, I have one cup of split peas that I went ahead and soaked for a couple hours, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and boil this, but I'll show you step by step, okay? And my chicken soup, I also have some ground provision, which is a combination of um, yuca, some of us know it as cassava, some of us know it as yucca. I have some edos, which some of us know it as dashin. Um, also, I have some um, American sweet potatoes, which is the um, creamish looking sweet potatoes. And I have, um, and I have some regular um, sweet potatoes there too. Also, I have some sweet plantains that I went ahead and I chopped up here. All of this I'm going to be adding into my soup and later on I will um, be adding some dumplings into my soup too guys and some of us know it as tough. So I am going to go ahead and show you later how I make my dumplings and how I will add it into the um, soup guys. So first thing I'm going to do, I am going to go ahead and heat my pot up here guys. In my pot I have 3 teaspoons of olive oil. So I am going to go ahead and I am going to fry my chicken, guys. I'm going to saute my chicken until it's fully cooked. So this is the first step um, to cooking my soup here, guys, okay? And this is the way we cook our soup back home, guys. And um, we cook it with ground provision. Um, so I'm going to let my um, oil heat it up here and then we'll start the procedure of the soup, guys, okay? And this is going to be a delicious soup, guys. And what I have... All of my stuff that I have here, guys, when I finish with my soup, this is a 14-quart pot. It's going to feed at least, at least 12 to 14 people, guys. And normally when I make soup, I make a huge pot of soup, and then I go ahead and I let it completely cool, and I, um, I put it into little dishes and freeze, um, put it into my fridge, guys, so I have soup for the entire week when I feel like having some soup. Okay, guys, so it's... it's very important um, whenever you're making soup try to make a little large pot of soup that you could um, freeze some because soup freeze very well guys so you could freeze some soup and um, or you could have it in um, in your fridge um, for the rest of the week okay guys so while I'm waiting for my um, oil to heat it up here okay guys so my oil is pretty hot here now so I am going to go ahead and I am going to add one large chopped onions and I will give this a toss and 
let that cook for about a minute or two, guys. And to my onion here, guys, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add my chicken. And remember, guys, my chicken is fully seasoned, so I'm going to let it soak in for about 15 minutes, guys. So what you want it to do guys, at this point here, you're going to go ahead and you're going to cover your pot and you're going to let your chicken soak in with your onion and all of the seasoning that is marinated in. You're going to let that soak in. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cover my pot. Go ahead and I am going to check on the chicken now. It's been cooking now for about 20 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and check on the chicken. Oh wow. So my chicken looks very lovely here guys. It's been cooking now for about 20 minutes. So I'm going to give it a toss. Look how delicious this looks guys. So what I'm going to do at this point now guys, I am going to go ahead and add my split peas to my sauteed chicken here that's been cooking for the past 20 minutes. So my, um, so my split peas can go ahead and boil with my chicken for my soup guys okay so that's what i'm going to do now i'm going to go ahead i'm going to wash my split peas and i'm going to add it to my chicken here okay guys so there you have it i'm going to go ahead and add my split peas now and this is a large pot of soup guys so that is why i put a cup of split peas because it, it's going to make a large pot of soup <coughs> And I am going to give this a toss. So what I'm going to do now guys, I'm going to go ahead and I am going to add two cups of water into my mixture here. So my split piece could go ahead and boil until I proceed with the other part of the soup. Okay guys, so right now, I am going to go ahead and add two cups of hot water. Here you go guys, two cups of water. And I'm going to give this a toss. And I'm not gonna add any salt yet guys, because when I seasoned my chicken guys, I did put one um, teaspoon of chicken bouillon which is one cube of chicken bouillon so I'm not going to put any salt right now what I'm going to do now I'm going to cover this and let it let it continue to cook until my split piece is um, softening and melted for my soup and my chicken is all um, cooked until it's full of the bone guys okay so I'm going to cover this and I'm going to let it cook for about another 15 to 20 minutes guys, okay? Okay guys, are you going to mix this until you get a nice smooth dough and if it's a little sticky guys, all you have to do is go ahead and add a little flour which I am going to do right now I'm going to add a little flour to that and I'm going to continue to mix it until it turns into a dough and then I'll let it rest for about 15 to 20 minutes until I'm ready to drop it into my soup guys. And you don't want to mix it too hard guys. You want your dumpling to be nice and soft. You don't want to mix your dough too hard. You're just going to give it a little mix like that. And that's how you make dumplings guys. That's how we actually make dumplings in our country. There's different types of dumplings guys. These are one that we call duff in our country or little finger um, dumplings. I'm not really sure with the names. 
but this is how we make it in our country, in the Caribbean. And some people do make it with corn, um, corn flour. I don't really make it with a corn flour. So, there you have it. I'm going to go ahead guys and I'm going to let this rest for about 15 to 20 minutes until I ready to drop it into my soup guys okay so I'll show you that later into the video so I went ahead and I transfer my soup into a larger pot guys because it's getting um it, it was too much for that pot guys so I went ahead and you know um, some of us um, you guys know that I do catering too so I do have all sizes of pots so I went ahead and I transfer my soup here uh, my split peas and my chicken that's been um, cooking up here now for the past hour guys I transfer it into a larger pot guys and this is this is it guys all the chicken fell off the bowl and it's all nicely into here so right now what I'm going to do guys I am going to go ahead and add my provision to my broth here guys okay so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to drop my provision into my broth here and this is going to have to cook until everything is tender guys so I'm going to put all of it into my broth here guys and I did add two boxes two um, quart of chicken stock to my soup here guys for my liquid I did add two boxes of organic chicken stock guys okay so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add all of my um, provision to my pot here guys and if you have um, spinach guys you can go ahead and add some spinach too at the end but um, I don't have any spinach on hands right now I wish I had some because I love spinach and soup. Guys, and I'm not going to be adding any carrots or any celery to my soup here because I am cooking this soup exactly the way we cook it in the Caribbean, guys. So all I'm putting into my soup is my provision, my chicken, my split pea. That's all I'm going to be putting into my soup here, guys. I'm just going to have to boil now until all of my ground my ground provision is fully cooked then I am going to go ahead the last 10 minutes of my soup here guys and I'm going to drop my dumpling you're going to taste for salt and pepper to your lightness and you're going to go ahead and add one more teaspoon of chicken bouillon guys for flavoring and if you want at this point what I'm going to do I am going to go ahead and add a handful of um, barley to my soup here guys okay so I'm going to add a handful of barley and there you have it guys not a lot just a handful I went ahead and I washed it so I'm going to add this to my soup also and the reason I didn't add it at the same time with the split peas guys is because barley tend to cook pretty fast so I don't want to go ahead and add it at that time, but it's going to go ahead and boil now with my provision. So when my provision is being cooked here, guys, my barley is going to be um, my barley is going to be cooking too nicely. So you're going to taste for salt, you're going to taste for pepper, and you're going to go ahead and cover your pot, guys, and let it cook on medium heat, guys. Okay. And the last 10 minutes, guys, that's when we're going to go ahead and we're going to add our sweet plantains because sweet plantains tends to cook pretty fast. So the last 10 minutes, I'm going to add my sweet plantains and my dumplings, guys. So right now, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cover my pot and let it continue cooking. Okay, guys, so my soup been boiling here now with my provision for about... 15 minutes I'm gonna go ahead and I am going to check on it which look really good guys so right now guys I am going to go ahead and I'm going to drop my sweet plantains into the pot here guys Also, I am going to 
add one pack of my chicken noodle here. Just one pack, guys, to my soup here. And when you add in your chicken noodle soup, guys, just make sure to start turning while you're adding it because you don't want it to stick and turn lump into the pot. You want to make sure everything is cooperated here. And this looks so good, guys. Oh, my chicken is melted into the soup like I wanted it to. So you're going to go ahead and you're going to let this boil. And next five minutes, guys, that's when you're going to add your dumplings. And the dumplings that I make, guys, they're our finger, fingerling dumplings, guys. They're very, they're like little like your fingers. So these are my dumplings, guys, that I'm going to be dropping into my soup in the next five to ten minutes. Okay, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to check in my soup right now, which is cooking up really nicely here, guys. Really, really looking good, guys. Everything is coming together. My provision is boiling. Everything is coming together, guys. So next five minutes, guys, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add my dumpling. But I'm going to cover my pot, guys, and let it continue to cook. My provision, next five minutes, I'll go ahead and add my dumplings. Okay, guys, it's been 15 minutes now since my soup um, is cooking. So I'm going to go ahead now and I'm going to check my soup here, guys. Okay, so everything is cooking up nicely here, guys. All the provision and everything is cooking up here nicely. Beautiful. Okay, guys, so at this point, I am going to go ahead and I am going to add my dumplings, guys, my fingerlings. I'm going to drop them one at a time. Just like that, guys. And these are very small. They're like little fingers. You call them fingerlings. Dumplings are much larger. Okay, there you have it, guys. You're going to go ahead and you're going to give this a toss. And you're going to cover your pot now, guys. And you're going to let the dumpling cook. You're going to let that continue cooking. Okay, guys, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to check on the soup now, guys. It's been cooking now for a little while. So there you have it, guys. Everything is boiled. My soup is cooking up nicely here. My sweet plantain is cooking. Everything is cooking up nicely here, guys. These are my dumpling, guys. My fingerling dumplings. Everything is looking really good here, guys. I'm going to let it cook for about five minutes more, guys. And then I'll go ahead and turn my stove off. And I will show you the finished product, okay, guys? So I'm going to let this cook for another five minutes. And I'll go ahead and turn the stove off. Okay, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to check on my soup here, guys. Oh wow, my soup looks so delicious guys, so delicious. Everything is completely boiled. Nicely boiled here guys. Okay guys, so my soup is finished. I am going to go ahead and I'm going to turn my stove off guys. And I'll show you what the finished product look like, okay? Guys, and this is how we cook our soup. Guyanese style, Caribbean style, West Indian style. This is how we cook our soup back home, guys. Okay. So, my soup is finished. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to turn my stove off. And I am going to go ahead and plate this now for you guys. And show you how we eat the soup. Okay, guys. And there you have it. A delicious homemade split peas chicken soup. There you have it, guys. A delicious homemade split peas chicken soup. If you like this video guys, kindly go ahead and give it a thumbs up. On the right hand corner of the screen, there is a notification bell. You could go ahead and click on that. But today, I bring you a delicious homemade split peas soup. Thank you for watching and see you in my next video.